All right, what's up, guys and girls? So uh, today I'm gonna talk about um, I'm gonna talk about posture and be, like lower back pain because I know like a lot of you guys out there message me with like lower back problems and including myself too. Been there like with that chronic pain, man. You know, chronic meaning over three months. Not fun, man. Not fun. Basically, this is kind of something I've been you know taking into account recently, um, and it's helped me kind of like, you, you, like. After having that chronic pain, it went away, right? And then, and then all of a sudden, I was like, uh, I was good. I was like, what the heck happened? But then, you know, every every like now and then, I, I get in that like, you know, that scary zone where I'm like, oh man, I don't know if it's gonna happen again. You know what I mean? You know, working on my posture a little bit, I feel like I actually feel pretty solid now. Um, and so I'll just kind of go over the, I guess the, the deviations. Whoa, big word. You know, your spine is a little, it's like little bit of a curve to it at the bottom you know it curves just a little bit and then curves up at the top too right um you know it's got that S shape but what happens sometimes is you can either go too much like this or too much like this okay too much like this you're going down too much like this or you're going you like going up like too much like this all right so what I think what I had and I kind of still have and I'm still working on it is this one okay so my butt pops out got kind of kind of I mean it's not that dramatic but like you know I'm just standing relaxed I can feel like a little arch in my lower back you know it's too arched you know what I mean it's not like that natural arch it's a little too arched butt pops out and my pelvis it tilts it t this is how this is how I say it in the in the books all right it my pelvis it tilts forward so it so it, it's like tilting this way so it's spilling out the front so it's like a front tilt or if you're gonna take it an exam front is anterior so it's an anterior pelvic tilt why does this happen usually it's the result of like tight lower back muscles kind of like looser abs tight hips because the hips pull the pelvis down right and the abs are loose and the back's tight and loose hamstrings because the hamstrings would pull would pull the pelvis back up like this the hamstrings were tighter or stronger so on um, for me what I did was I addressed the abs I, I started doing um I guess like you know where you lay down you just like lift your legs off the ground uh, you know kind of implementing like uh, leg raises I guess on the, on the ground like frick, I'll just freaking do that I don't care I'll do this for you guys you know like these at like the end of end of my workout, you know, I kind of held that there for a minute, you know, maybe like set of three, and feel a little bit more solid, you know what I mean? And uh, you know, I just think I got in balance somewhere, maybe doing like so many like air flares, and you're, you know, my back's always uh, you know tight and balanced, and then sometimes, you know, I don't know, who knows, right? Okay, it's just some imbalances do happen. So I worked on my abs, and then you could also work on you know your hamstrings, and then work on stretching. The hip flexors because the hip flexors are pulling it down so this is a good hip flexor stretch for like the front and there's a few other ones you know kind of hold that for 20 seconds and to get warmed up so you so you're loosen, loosening it up down here so it's letting it it's letting it go back up like this tightening the abs pulling it back up and then stretching out the lower back pulling it back up and then tightening up the hamstrings pulling it down so it's, it's pulling it up all right Hope that's not confusing. So, anterior pelvic tilt, tighten the abs, tighten the hamstrings, loosen the hip flexors, loosen the lower back. Get back to kind of normal, all right? We'll get back to normal, not kind of normal. <laughs> all right, other one. I didn't have this one, but some people have this one. I feel like this one might be less common, but who knows? It's the, it's the posterior tilt because you're spilling, your ass is spilling out the back, all right? You know, post meaning back. So for that one, you look like this. That guy walks around like this, like the Grinch, you know? Walking around like this, so you know, who knows, right? So your abs are tight, your lower back's loose, your hamstrings are probably tight, and your hip flexors are probably loose. So you can, you know, tighten up the hip flexors. Something like that, you know, like you could use some weights or whatever, you mean? You don't have to go too crazy. What I what I would do is I'd 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 kind of I'd kind of uh, strengthen the lower back, you know, and then I'd stretch out the abs if I was in that position, you know. I'd probably do some of this. 
you know, uh, do some yoga. All right. So for this one, you wanna you wanna loosen up the abs, loosen up the hamstrings. All right. Let it come out, and then you wanna tighten up the back. So when you loosen up the hamstrings, it's going like this, and then when you tighten up the back, it's pulling it in as well. Loosen up the abs, letting it go. Tighten up the hip flexors. So you know this is this just kicking is a good um you know hip flexor exercise as well as a hamstring stretch you know it's like a dynamic stretch you can do that um you know do the do that thing i just showed you and then um you know some back raises and whatnot i mean that's just an idea to address if you have like lower back pain that way you straighten out your posture and then you don't get in that you know scared zone and maybe you can even help that back pain that you if you have a little minor like chronic minor back pain right now if you straighten things out you get more in balance and then you can you know have a better daily life all right and um you know better training too because you're more balanced um so like more so better you have a better center of gravity and whatnot you know when it comes to whatever you're gonna do um so you know i hope this helps you guys out uh it's just kind of just kind of think about it you know just kind of look at yourself if you're feeling too much like this probably you know probably like me feeling too much like this then you know what you gotta do i mean you know just take it easy if it hurts don't do it if it hurts be sure to get warmed up before you stretch out too all right I hope this guys I hope this helps you guys out um you guys and girls have a good one all right peace